Good morning, YouTube. One of the most beloved vegetables in fall is acorn squash. It is simple, easy, delicious, and so good for you. We're gonna kind of take a riff on that. We're gonna roast acorn squash, sure. But we're gonna do it with butter and brown sugar and a little bit of honey for a vegetable that is unbelievably good. I honestly think you could just throw ice cream on it and <laughs> call it dessert. All right, let's cook y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, great. All right, boys and girls, let's talk about acorn squash for a minute. All right, I love this stuff. It is delicious. It is easy to cook. It is loaded with vitamin A and carotene, lots of fiber. It's sweet and a little bit nutty. And I like normally, normally when I'm doing stuff like this, um, actually look here. You cut them in half, right? Just cut them in half. Then you're gonna scoop out the seeds. And hang on to the seeds because you can cook, you can do uh, seeds from acorn squash just like you do from a pumpkin, okay? So, just take a spoon, easy enough, right in there. That goes in the sink to deal with later. And here's what we are working on. So you can do acorn squash all kinds of different ways. Most of the time when I'm doing something like this, I will do a really savory kind of deal. Uh, I love to do it with salt, pepper, garlic, red pepper flake. I roast it. It's nicely caramelized. But you know what? Sometimes we gotta put on the way my grandmother did it. <laughs> Granny would do it with brown sugar and butter. Why? Because it tastes good. And every once in a while, it's not going to kill you. All right, so you're going to use a teaspoon or two, often two, in each half of your squash. This is not a very exact or fussy recipe. All right, that one didn't get enough. Okay. You're, it's one of those recipes where you're doing some. All right, about five minutes after this goes in the oven, once everything has melted a little bit, I'm going to come back with a little paintbrush painted around all over the place. But for this point, we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna get it inside each one. And each one of these is like its own little bowl. <laughs> I don't know why that amused me, but it did. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, each one of these is gonna get drizzled with a little bit of honey. A little bit? Um, I'm Southern. Uh, this is the definition of a Southern little bit. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, I was sitting there talking about the nutritional value of acorn squash. And we're loading it with sugar and butter and whatnot. It's fine. You're not going to eat this every day. So go ahead and treat yourself every once in a while. And if you do eat this every day, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. You know what? Serve it for dessert and hush. Stop fussing. All right. So a good tablespoon of brown sugar. Right with the honey. Try not to spill it on your pan because it's going to get on the pan. It's going to burn in the oven. It's going to make it harder to clean up. I should have put a piece of aluminum foil on my little baking sheet. This is one of those do what I say instead of do what I do situations. Okay. Just because it is delicious, I'm going to give each one of these a little bit of salt. And I have my oven preheated to uh, 425. And these do take a while. The fun thing about this is I'm gonna throw this in the oven and it's just gonna do its own thing. After about five minutes, I'm gonna take a paintbrush. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take a brush and we'll spread out all our goop. Other than checking on it, maybe at 30, 45 minutes. That's all there is to this. All right, straight in the oven, five minutes. Here we go. Okay, so I said they acted like little bowls. You can see this is probably closer to 10 minutes because I got distracted. I got a leftover seed. Not that that'll hurt anything. All right, so all I'm doing here, making sure that the entire surface has some of that beautiful honey, brown sugar goodness. Let's just go ahead and call it a dessert vegetable. <laughs> that should... That should legitimately be valid. Okay. All right, we're gonna do one more thing, okay, before we put these back in the oven. We're gonna give it a little bit of cinnamon. Not tons, you don't wanna overwhelm it. 
But I figure, hey, we're halfway to sugar, brown sugar toast. <laughs> What's that stuff called? Cinnamon toast. We're halfway there, so let's just keep going. And then we're gonna do a little bit of fresh nutmeg. Now, all in all, these are gonna need probably an hour to an hour and 15. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's try that again. <laughs> all right, this is our highly professionally produced cooking show. <sighs> you know good and well this kind of stuff happens on Food Network. I know good and well it happens on Food Network because I've worked on Food Network. And it happens all the time. They just cut it out and then everybody gets tickled about it later. Okay, much better. All right, shoo! Mmm, <sighs> that makes smells so good. I like, you know what? I wish you could get your floor to look like that. Or earrings. One of the two. All right, we're going back in the oven, guys. We're gonna set our timer. Let's we'll see, we had 10 minutes. We're gonna set our timer for 50 minutes. We're gonna check it. It'll be able to be easily be pierced with a fork when it's done. And you just scoop that out. Probably put some ice cream on it. I don't know yet. Okay, we actually had about 50 minutes in the oven after the first 10, so we're, you know, right about an hour. And this smells like a bakery just went on like a fall baking challenge. <laughs> It smells so good. Everything delicious and autumny and like fall. That's what this smells like. And it's, oh, it's so hot. Now, here's the cool thing. If you were willing to make vegetables into your dessert, <laughs> you could take a little bite and dip it in that warm, buttery, syrupy, honey stuff. Oh. That's one of the better things I've ever made. And I'm a pretty good cook. <laughs> <laughs>